hand and you say nothing by no means shall I want extra to your matter. I take authority today in the name of Jesus and I stomp on the devil today in the name of Jesus. No sickness, no disease, no sickness, no disease. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that no weapon from against us shall prosper. No weapon from against my family. No weapon from against my children. No weapon from against the ministry. No weapon from against the members. No weapon from against the workers. No weapon from against the children of Zion. Let me know, sir. I know that we play nice and nice in church, but when we're out on the road, 
out and uh, we in the house uh, our hand of problem and every minute we say God forgive us it's a demonic spirit uh, that run away in the presence of God from your house uh, from your workplace uh, when you're out on the road uh, the anger the spirit of anger easy to be upset you could have handled it different you could have handled the situation different but the spirit of anger Moshete Lebashete Leboshete Ramama Sete Rababa The Bible says Paul Saul had a spirit of anger and when the spirit of anger's mistress came he threw the arrow the spear at David that's what we are when the spirit of anger comes we throw out of our mouth and we say all kind of things out of our mouth and he can't take back because of anger and that's why God present cannot be in our midst because there's a spirit there's a aroma of anger in my life that I want to get real I want to be real with God it is a real ministry my God, don't try and cover it up because you God, I need to deal with this. Sometimes some good people come in your life and because of your anger, you drive them away. The spirit of anger is a spirit, it's a demonic spirit. We're here to pray tonight. We're here to pray tonight about the spirit of anger. Even your children will begin to carry the spirit of anger. My God of mercy. Look at your background. For whence you come from. Nobody is Africa or Jamaica. But our forefathers and mothers and grandmothers. My God. Let those be angry at us. Our father be angry at us. And we came back with the same spirit of anger. Begin to deal with the spirit of anger in your life. Come on now. Love I mean, I believe many of us want husband, but with that anger management, the husband will come and you run away. My God, because you're easy to snap. God got to deal with the anger. Oh, Mama Shadda, don't tell me that you don't have it. Because it's pretty saying you got anger problem. You have anger problem. My God have mercy. Libo Shatta. Riba Satara Bose. I say you have anger problem. Your father was angry on your mother, and your spirit is upon you. It's a demonic spirit. And your child won't. Your poor parents don't have peace with you. It's be anger, 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 anger. And it passes on to your children, 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 children. Deal with your anger now. Come on now. We are anger problem. So anger management. Easy to be anger. Easy to be popped up. Easy to be upset. Anybody with trespass, you want to lick them down. You want to throw them down. You want to fish them down. You want to use them up because you are angry. Easy to be angry. And then out of anger come curse. You curse your mama. You curse your pig in them. You, oh my God. Listen to me. So mama son. Some of us, why we are here like this today? It's because your poor father was so angry and he started to curse you. But I denounce every spirit of anger be upon your life in the name. Somebody say I denounce the spirit of anger today. Somebody say I denounce the spirit of anger. Some of you are being cursed from your childhood, even in your room, in your mother's room, because they may be angry with that man. Oh my God of mercy. Lord God of mercy. A spirit of anger. My God, are you still with your speaking anger? My God, you're that's why you're pop pop. Oh my God, you're always upset. And when you have not, and you have not known, it's a spirit of anger. It's a demonic spirit that needs to be dealt with. We need to cast it out. We need to pull down the spirit of anger. It's not going to pass to your children, children. You're going to deal with that spirit of anger. I said you're going to deal with the situation better than that. But because of anger, my God, people die. Watch this now. Oh. Watch this now. I said nobody in our tonight, you know. Because the whole of this week with the pan siege. Yes, yes. Hey, we had a problem tonight. 
Watch this now what the anger. God, I'm speaking to your spiritual thing, not flesh. I don't know, I do not want no distraction. When they're dealing with spiritual thing, the devil bring distraction. Pay attention. God can't trust you. God wants to trust you, but God can't trust you. God wants to use you, but he can't trust you. God don't want you to just come to church every Sunday and he can't trust you. You're wasting your time and wasting God's time. What am I talking about? No, you come with your prayer topic. And God, I want this. But don't you know that the Holy Spirit has a prayer topic also? That he want you to pray for this sister. Come here, dear sister. I want to show you something. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You know when you're close to your breakthrough. Oh, don't worry, sister. All when the foot is still a dance on the foot. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know why I call you. <laughs> I don't know your foot. Are you hearing me? Okay. Our 90 tonight. Sometimes you may think say it is normal. And we accept things as normal. But it's not normal. And when I accept it's normal, you have to run. Huh. Your foot. Yes. Come on now. Now, Pastor Tanya. God wants to trust Pastor Tanya to pray for our dear sister. I never know she has a good problem. And God sees deeper than what she seen. And God laid the prayer topic to pray for the sister to Pastor Tanya. But God cannot give Pastor Tanya the prayer topic. Because Pastor Tanya is carrying an anger problem. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, Jesus. Okay. Something is wrong with Pastor Tanya. And God, you be sitting there and God giving you a picture. Look, something is wrong with Pastor Tanya. I want you to pray. But God said, no, I can't give it to you. Because you have an anger problem. A spirit of bitterness. Now, when you start to pray for Pastor Tanya, what you're going to do is hurt her. Amen. I said you're going to hurt Pastor Tanya. And in the process, Pastor Tanya is going to hurt you. So God said, I can't trust you. <laughs> to give you my prayer topic. Because there what you're hurting also. My God of mercy. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Mm. I, I'm not going to speak to In this ministry, no flesh the word. <laughs> I'm talking. And anybody tonight, I decree it. Go up on the altar and start talking about John Tom and the carry don't go back up there. Amen. So true. It's earned when a pastor go up and talk in out of his anger. He's killing the people instead of blessing them. And God said, I must bless but not hurt. But because of the anger, listen to me, if you have an anger problem, go on the altar. Because of the out, the anger problem, that's why the blessing carries all And so you start to blame God and blame everybody else. And blame the church and the pastor and everybody. Everybody you find fault with. Yes. Because the church, who oh, is you and me, yes. have a hunger problem. Yes. I don't know why the world was touched by this tonight. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, God, oh, mercy. Look, that's why many a time praise and worship, you can't walk if you have a hunger problem. Because when you start to worship, that spirit is coming out of the people. Hallelujah. 
And the word that I want to say, can God trust you? And, uh, and that's why you think that so, no, 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 God won't use man. Me one can't run in this. Me one can't see. Me one can't hear. We have prophets here. We have prophecies here. We have apostle here. We have evangelists here. We have mother here. We have Sia here. We have Sia here. We have them all here in the house of God. But because of the anger problem, God can't show you the vision. So when the devil has come, he just come and mash up everything because you have a grass spirit and you think that it's a good thing and it is a bad thing because it's running away this will come out of the house church can't grow church can't grow amen because the church of an anger problem the church of an why should I pray for him? Yeah. If he's dead? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad. So, God is merciful. God, God, yes, God is merciful. Oh, God is merciful. Help me, the Holy Ghost tonight. Sister, you have to feel it right there. In the name of Jesus. Oh. In the name of Jesus. This is when you're coming at the altar. Listen to me. This is a miracle house. Yes. Signs and all. Even if you're a day, Holy Ghost. Amen. Now set the house in order. Yeah. Anybody come in here, most of you like this. God, now God use me one. Let me, I know many people, many pastors that tell us how we're there. No, 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 you don't work so you don't He said, if you believe, signs and wonder, who the power goes, who believe in my name. But because of anger and hardness of heart. He had to deal with Peter anger. Yes. Uh-huh. Hardness uh, yeah. of heart. Amen. You could have dealt with it better than that. Mm-hmm. And because of your anger, you know, Mr. David, I tell you that do it. I do it. Uh-huh. You come in the yard, mash up your marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, say, yes. Uh-huh. Mash up your pity. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, life. And because you see your father did it, your grandmother did it, your mother did it, and everybody I beat everybody you come up with this year, then I come blue crap, pink crap, yellow crap, you come like I do the pink crap, red crap, all kind of crap. Because you have an anger problem. I say you have an anger problem. That's your stiffness. Say God want to move. You see what's happening tonight? God's about to take us to another level. Everybody, I see the, I know I see the spirit. But God's gonna deal with that anger. Listen, I'm not gonna pray for you, but I pray for yourself. Why? God want to come. God not come to the middle. I you not come to person. He want to open your eyes. There were, I was reading a book and the Holy Ghost. And the book, what I was reading was seeing the Jacob. The pastor hurt her, give her pain, and when he had a heart attack, don't despise nobody. No. You very same one, yeah. God going to use to go and pray for the one who hurt you. For the stone with the builder rejected, come on to the head, God has stone. Amen. You see the one, God will bring us to Simeon. Yes, I'm here. The one who you despise and show them and say, you are not come to nothing, Sylvia. And me see him when I feel cold. You think that I said, but she had a problem. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody needs to be delivered tonight. I don't know. Before we can go to the next praise. And God said to her, go and pray for him. He said, no, that will happen to you. That will teach you that you have to hurt people. So the Holy Ghost hit her. And she had to repent. Instant. Instant. Because the pastor hurt her. Yeah. If anybody hurt you tonight, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I said you can't go into November. No. Not at all. With it. How much years you have carried? Oh, God have mercy. Some people are going to pray with it. Jesus. Some people never say sorry. Some people never say, I need to hurt my neck. 
Don't you know when you come a Christian that he makes you go and have in the house for forgiveness? Yes. <laughs> but when you're a sinner, you know business. Yeah. Hey, yo, my mom no, said, it's not going to take And when did she repent? Because God wants to trust you. Give you the prayer that they give you the message yes. to deliver it. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's when some people come on a preach, you can't get the anger behind the preaching. And you cannot receive it. They can hear the hurt that they heard. And they think, I don't want to deliver. I want to deliver God's people. They can't do it. And she also repented. And she went. And God used her to heal the message. The word can God trust you. You're not just beautiful, but you're useful yes. in the hands of the king. Yes, but because yes, a people hurt you, and see it and what I'm planning, and every time you want to go forward, you remember John Tom. I want you to forgive. Oh, today, listen, don't it today, don't it today, no, 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 no. I don't care how much people were you, do you, chat about you. Talk about you, and then chat about you, talk about you, and then can't stop you. Look at your name as a neighbor, and they can't stop me. Say to your neighbor, who God bless you? No man curse. You know, they're more than two, they're more than one, but they're more than one, and they're more than one, and they're more than one. Walk on the aisle and give God thanks. Yes, Just give God thanks. Amen. Just give God thanks. I don't know how you feel this. We're going to pray. Please, God want to come to heal you. To the angel in the night, they might have come so they cast you. There's a, you might have a but there's something around you. Are blocking. They cast you back. If you hang with your children in that area, you're weird. Talk. I know we're all nice and nice right now. Hey, please be up on your feet if you can, if you can't, just sit. You pray for yourself. Everybody have anger problems. Even the children have anger problems. <laughs> oh, God, pray. I said, Lord, make me to a woman or a man that you can trust with the anointing. Can God trust you? God wants to use you. Come on now. Pray for the anger. Let it go. Go. It may be a loved one. It may be your best friend. It may be, it may be your husband. It may be even tonight. Somebody may say a word to you. Even a phone call. Even maybe you come out of the house. I may say something that hurts your heart some more. Can you let it go? In the name of Jesus, change it God. Oh, hey. Can I talk to you? Jacob had two sons, Simon and Levi. Do you know why Moses could not reach the promised land? Because Moses had an anger problem. The fourth anger problem which you have an anger kill. Moses killed a police, kill the Egyptian and cover him up. How much people will kill with him out? Moses had an anger problem. Jacob had two sons. Oh God. And Jacob had a daughter. And she was defied by one of the princes of the land. Oh God. And they, they said, unless you want to join us, you have to be circumcised. But, but Levi and Sam Simeon said, he knows that now go down so. And because of their anger, yes. two men take off the sword and went into the city and knocked. He killed everybody. And Jacob had to run away. Yes. He gave him life. Yeah. And that, that gene is passed down. And Moses was in the line of the Levites. Yes. And that's why Moses could not cross. Because he had an anger oh, problem. problem. Sometimes why would children be able like that is because of it? The reaction. A soft answer. Turn away wrath. 
Why? But because you see me father and the culture we where everybody want content and fight and nobody no want back down. Everybody hope and me run things. On a pretty talk tonight. Deal with it. Deal with that spirit. And the you with that
Satan get you to be angry with yourself. So what I know? So if you're angry with yourself, you're angry with everybody else. Because the Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. But if you don't love yourself, What's your name as a neighbor? You're beautiful. What's your name as a neighbor? Not be angry with yourself, but be angry with the devil. The devil, in the name of Jesus, I command you. Remember me tell you tonight about something that I'm blocking. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. So devil. 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 Talk 
talk to him. Talk to him. You're not talking to the pastor. If you feel like walk around, but talk to Jesus. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I want to hear again. I feel like I'm too far from you. Bring me closer. To you. Holy Spirit, talk to me again. Talk to me again. Talk to me again, Holy Spirit. Talk to me again, Holy Spirit. the Holy Spirit. That is it. That is it. Come on. Talk to him. That is it. Come on. Talk to the Holy Spirit now. Come on. Talk to him. Come on. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Recall it back again. I need a visitation. Come on. Talk to him. Come on, talk to the Holy Spirit again. Come on, talk to the Holy Spirit again. You're breaking that tension between you and God. You're not angry with God no more. And God is not angry with you. Come on, read fellowship with Him again. Come on, open your mouth and talk to him. Cry out. Lord, I want to talk to you. Here I am. Meet me. Here I am. This is not about me. This is a prayer meeting. That you need to meet back with God. And the position you want to sit in and let him on pray. Give it over to God. You're not hungry no more. I'm not going to pray for you, you pray for yourself. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. My house is called a house of prayer to pray. Pastor can pray for you. Pastor need to pray for himself. He needs deliverance also. Keep praying. Keep praying. I know when you come to church, what we we you to sit there. Come on, pray. Breaking the breaking tradition. Call to Jesus. Reach out to Jesus. Come on. Service. This is service. Pray. Come on. Talk to Jesus. Open your mouth. Oh, Open your mouth. Oh, Come on now. It's not about praise and worship. 
that about the sermons of worship is about worship with God, talking to God, we fellowship with God, get regretted with God, stop being angry with God, and start to talk to God. The devil tell you, be a lie that you've got to talk to God, I'm not going to hear. Talk to God now. You got the place. Not about jumping up and dancing. There's a time for everything. But this is a time for the people to cry to their Savior. Talk to Him. Stop being angry with God. Talk to Him and feel. Come on, I'm not, I'm not slowing you down. You need to push a little more harder. You need to take it by force. If you feel like come on the altar, come on the altar and lie down. Oh God, we forget the word of good old place. The place of the altar where I laid my feet. Uh, he changed that church. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We're going back to the altar. We're building back up. If you feel like come to the altar, the bow and the altar, bow at the foot of the altar, and give it to God. Oh Lord. Oh, Jesus, come on, talk to Jesus. There's so much problem, so much need. But only Jesus. Come on, talk to Jesus in the house. I want you to focus on Jesus and don't focus on the problem. Don't focus on the situation. Talk to Jesus. You need to hear from God. So you need to talk to God. Pastor can't do it for you. Oh, Lord. It's not my mother, it's not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. Don't send the pastor for you. And be off of you. You're dead, I know. Talk to him again. If you feel like come to the altar, come to the altar. And bow down before God. And talk to Jesus. That's what the altar did for. Bring grace to God. Prayer time. Come back. Come back to the place of prayer. Some of us can't talk to God because we're angry. But tonight that spirit has been cast out. Put the devil to life and begin to come back and pray again. Pray again. Your prayer life may be done, but tonight come back and rekindle that fire again. If you feel like come to the heart of God. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, tonight. Holy Spirit, revert us again. Oh, hallelujah. If there is anyone, hallelujah. Oh, God, I'm an issue tonight, Jesus Christ. Let them empty of the issue, my God. Oh, God, I said, oh, hallelujah. Let them go to the altar, even myself. Oh, hallelujah. And leave the burden here, Lord. My God, hallelujah. That the church of the living God was so hard. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. God has here tonight, oh God. Every devil is all glory. Come on, come on, you can come on. Come on, pray for yourself. My God, hallelujah. We need to get back to that place, the prayer meeting. We need to meet Jesus again. Come on, hook your mouth. Come back. Lay it before God. It's God's doing tonight. That's why we're all here tonight. And God wants the church to pray again. You may feel disconnected. But I want to get reacquainted with God again. Come on now, pray again. Come on now. Come on, church. Oh, I want to hear Elijah pray again. I want to hear Elijah to pray again. I want to hear Elijah to pray again. We are the prayer lovers. We are the groaning fathers who are groaning. We are the mothers. Oh, 
want to look too cute. Stop looking cute. And roll up your sleeve. I'm beating the call upon Daniel God. Come on now. Come on. Fellowship back with him. Oh, Get back to the place. Come on, church. Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Come on. Come on now. I don't want to be distracted. I want to look for Jesus. Read to Jesus. We will not cut down. You need to request back with God. You don't need to go to Jamaica, Africa. Oh, Jesus is here tonight. Maybe you will just call back. Come on, now, back to Paul and Silas. I see him again. Begin to call again. Come on now. Come on. Come on, church. Come on.
Praise God. Keep praying. Come on now, church, pray. Hallelujah. He prayed. We married back to your church tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We married, oh God, to your church. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Come on, Jesus, tonight. You are peaceful tonight, my God. Hallelujah, tonight, my God. Release them tonight. Oh God, hallelujah. When they reach to the door, my God. The way they come to go, God. Don't let them go the way they come. Let them go with a rejoicing spirit. Oh God, an upliftment spirit tonight. And a healing spirit tonight. That the heart will be healed. Oh God, hallelujah. The heart, hallelujah. The heart, Jesus Christ. Oh God. You said you're coming back to our church with us but a wrinkle. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And in the church, oh God, you say your church, hallelujah. Let us prepare ourselves for the church of the living God. Hallelujah. That when you come, oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh God, we will be gathered at the river of Jesus. We will be gathered at the beautiful gate. Oh God of Zion. My God, tonight, lift up, oh God. Every one of us tonight, oh God, silently stop. And those who can pray, oh glory to God, with every individual tonight. Hallelujah. Bring us back, oh God, together. You to said together we are as divided we fall. We are one body, God. We are all one link of chain. Tonight, oh glory to God. When there is a leakage, oh God, trying to slip away. Oh God, reform by that link, God. Click it together, Lord. Seal it with the Holy Ghost and with your hands of purity. Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Now we can stand in one again and go back to the altar to give up our gift in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, in the name the of Jesus. If we have our brother and our sister, hallelujah. release our spirit tonight, God. That Jesus hallelujah. and there is a silent enemy. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, open. Open the doors of the heart and the windows, my God, and every headset, oh God, in and out, oh God, entrance and exit, my God, that today, my God, they will be free, oh God, free, hallelujah. my God, they will be free in the name Thank of Jesus. Jesus, oh hallelujah, free indeed to worship you, free, oh God, to exalt you, free, oh God, to lift up their voice, hallelujah. And give you praise again. Hallelujah tonight, God. Thank you. Now, Spirit of the living God, Thank have you. mercy upon us again. Oh, hallelujah. Release that to us, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Your power from above. That Jesus Christ, we will not come back here next week, God, Thank with you. this issue, God. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, God, it will be finished, God. It will be dealt with by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. in the name of the Holy Ghost, and in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We worship you tonight. Holy Spirit, we worship you tonight. Hallelujah. Lift you up, oh, hallelujah. Pray, just lift him up, just lift him up. Let me give you glory. Just lift him up now. Honor. 